Kara Marshall here with Adam Carey, your soul friend. Um, it might be a little bit echoey because I'm actually in my bathroom. i um, going to show you how to draw um, a detox bath. So you can either use um, Epsom salts or Dead Sea salt. Uh, they have two different purposes. Um, Epsom salts are really good for detoxification and pulling out um, pulling out uh, negative energies, pulling out chemicals within our bodies. And so I have a jar here of Epsom salts. And you know, you can, you can get them really economical. You know, this jar would have cost me maybe, um, I don't know, three to five dollars, that sort of thing. Um, I have with me, I'm just gonna show you how I prepare for um, a bath and to sit in that. So I also get with me a cloth, um, either dry or wet, and I leave it on the side of the tub. I also, um, I create essential oil blends. This one is muscle relief. Uh, so it's for, I use a blend of eucalyptus, rosemary, and lavender in this. I also grab three cups of uh, cold water. I have my rose quartz crystals. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped one. <laughs> Sorry, my rose quartz crystals. And then I have um, my candles lit in here. And I'm gonna turn the light out so you can see the ambiance of that. One second. So this is with the light out. I know you can't really see me here, um, but I just wanted to show you how I like to create um, a relaxing environment for when I go to soak in my bath. So I'll just turn the light back on, just one moment there and i'll just get going um i also wanted to let you know that i have my towel hanging up here for after my bath and so what i would do is i'm just going to turn the tub on it's going to get a little loud here and i put the temperature to as hot as it can go um as the tub starts to fill up a little bit uh let's wait for that and then i'm gonna add my salt so i'll just pause and wait for that and i'll be right back so the water is starting to fill in the tub i'm just going to turn it off so that you can hear me so i have the tub um just about halfway full and i just want to show you um how much salt so you know i like to use a cup to two cups of epsom salt so I like to just spread it out in, um, in the tub and let that dissolve. And you'll see there's a few handfuls there. So you'll see that's how much I've used in, in the tub. And um, I'm just gonna put the water back on so you can, I just wanted to show you how much uh, salt goes in and I'll touch base after that. So I think you can see here that the tub is full. So one thing I want you to know is um, generally when you're using essential oils, you do not drop the oils in the running water because when you do that, it disperses the, um, the oil itself um, quickly because it, it's um, connected with the oxygen and so it dissipates. So what we want to do is fill the tub and then add our essential oils. Now, for a detox bath, you don't need an essential oil. It literally is the Epsom salt that you're looking for. I just particularly like to add essential oils into my bath. So I take um, about 10, 10 different drops of oil and I add that in to my bath. And then what I want to do is I'm going to hop into the bath and I want to stay in that bath soaking for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, 20 minutes preferably if you can. So I sometimes actually take my phone and just set a little timer. Now the reason I have this cloth here is because I've drawn the bath as warm as it possibly can go, as warm as my body can handle it. And so you're basically kind of sweating out the detox. It's, um, the salt is pulling it out of you. And so that is why 
I have the three cups of water. So I'm going to drink that full three cups of water while I'm um, soaking in the detox bath. And then when the 20 minutes is up, then I'm gonna drain the water. Now, um, I can either drain it and um, just stand up and take a shower to rinse off, because the most important thing is after you've bathed, you want to rinse off. You don't wanna be leaving the detox that's been pulled out on your skin so that it can come back into your body. You wanna rinse that off and cleanse yourself. Um, but I like to sometimes just feel the weight of my body. So I'll lay in the tub and allow that water to just drain down and feel the energy being taken away. Feel that detox um, being removed from me. And then I take my, my shower. If you don't have a shower, then I suggest bringing a little um, a pitcher or something, a plastic pitcher um, that you can fill and just rinse off um, before getting out of the tub to dry off. So enjoy your detox. And I like to do mine once a week. Um, I generally like to do them on a full moon and a new moon. Um, so just, just, and also if you're not feeling well, uh, when you're feeling kind of sick, it's a great time to pull out things. If you've um, ingested a lot of um, crappy food or maybe you've had a little too much to drink or whatever, um, too much sugar, too much alcohol, uh, the next day it's good to take a detox to pull that out and definitely replenish with water. So when you finish your bath, you also want to look at drinking another three cups of water. So hopefully that helps and you can enjoy a detox bath yourself. Okay.